Write the following quadratic equation. 2x squared is equal to 7x plus 15 in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Hence solve 2x squared is equal to 7x plus 15 using your GDC. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we'll just do the first bit first of all. So before you can use the GDC quadratic function, it needs to be in this format, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So let's just do that first. We've got 2x squared is equal to 7x plus 15. So we need to take the 7x over the side. We need to subtract it from both sides. And we also need to subtract the 15. So we're going to subtract minus 7x minus 15 from both sides. On this side, it gives me 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. And on this side, we've got nothing. Right, we're now in a position where we can now use our GDC in, a, in order to solve this equation. So we're going to look at two methods, the GD, G, GDC function of the calculator, and then secondly we'll look at graphing it. So going to my GDC, so first of all we could go to create a number. Okay, and then go to menu, number three, algebra. And then we're going to go to number three, polynomial tools, and it comes up, find roots of polynomials. Just go to the first one. Just leave it as it is. Degree two means it's a, a quadratic, so by default it comes up like that, and that's all you will need at Math Studies and Real by default. Press OK, and then we need to put in the numbers. So we need to put in, it was 2x squared, so we need to put in the number A was... Two. They unfortunately they use a two, a one, a zero. But you need to think of this as a x squared plus b x plus c. So in here we need to put in a two. Next one was minus seven. So minus seven. That would be b on our model. And then a is minus fifteen. Minus fifteen. Like that. And then all we need to do is press OK. Just check it carefully. That you put it in correctly. Getting the chance here to check it, 2x squared, the dot means multiply 2x squared minus 7x minus 15, and it's solving it for x, that's the format. Press enter, and we get the two answers. We get 1x is equal to minus 1.5, and x is equal to 5. So, so a is 2, b is minus 7, c is minus 15, these are the steps on the calculator. I've just done. Just make sure we rewind the video and just have another look. And then at the end we're going to write down that x is equal to 1.5 or 5. There's two possible solutions. Now in order to, to use the graphical method, we need to first of all draw, draw the line y is equal to 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. So going back to my calculator, just going back to the home screen, and this time I want to select a, a graphing mode. So select graphing mode, and now put in 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. Press enter. Now we've got a sort of a U-shaped curve here, except we're missing the bottom bit. We don't really need the bottom bit in order to solve the question, but it does, would look better. So, we know that it cuts this axis at minus 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the y-axis. So, menu, and there are quite a few different zooming techniques, okay? So the only one I'm going to use here is window settings, but later in other videos I'll show you how to use some of these. So go to window settings, and then I'm just going to change the y-minimum here. Because I want minus 50, I'm just going to take it 10 more, so I'm going to put minus 25. Okay, and with experience, you'll be able to determine which one you need to change. Press OK, and now you can see we, we've got that U-shaped curve, which is what we expect of a quadratic, so U-shaped. Okay, this point here and this point here give me the solutions. What you are trying to find when you find the solutions is where the quadratic cuts the x-axis, so you're trying to find where it cuts here and here. Now you can get the calculator to do it for you. Menu, number six, analyze the graph, and with, they call them, rather than roots or solutions, they call them zero. It's sort of American terminology, so we're finding the zeros, 
but what we are doing is solving the equation. So we press number one, and we get this idea lower bound. So we go to the left of the first place, so slightly to the left, and press enter, and then move it across, and we'll get the first root here, one, minus 1.5. Zero. I'm just going to move that slightly over there, and then to get the other one, we just repeat it. Window zoom. So when number six, analyze the graph. Number one, zero. We go slightly to the left of that that one there, and then to the right, and we get the other answer, which is five zero. Now the solutions are minus one point five and five, not the zeros. That just tells me what the y coordinate is at that point. So. Going back to this, so there's quite a lot of screenshots here that are going to come up showing the different things that we've done. Again, rewind the video if you're not sure. So there's all the different steps that I've just explained. And now if you're in an exam, what you need to do is you need to sketch it. So in order to sketch it, you need to draw two axes with a ruler with arrows at both ends, label one X, one Y. Now it doesn't have to be accurate plot, it's just a sketch. So my suggestion to you is that you put on one root and the other root, and maybe where it cuts the Y axis, and it's only just like roughly where it is, and then sketch a sort of U-shaped curve, but making sure that you label it at one end. Y is equal to 2X squared minus 7X minus 15. Then you've got the mark on the two answers. So you've got one here at minus 1.5 and one here at 5. We're only interested in the x coordinate for because we're solving the equation 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 is equal to 0. So x was it be equal to minus 1.5 or 5 like we did with the first me method. Okay, you really need to practice that. You need to practice both different methods depending on the requirement of the question.